What is up guys, William here, fitnessforbackpain.com. I'm gonna put you down for a second because we're gonna chat. We're gonna have a little talky talk on a, an exercise that I believe that you don't have to do anymore, right? So I wanna talk about the barbell squat. I think it is one of the most overprescribed, glorified exercise. It is made to be as if it's the king of exercises, right? Like everyone who's in the gym, anyone who wants to build strength, get stronger, needs to barbell squat. And if you're not barbell squatting now, you need to be doing whatever it takes to work up to being able to put a bar on your back, high bar, low bar, whatever bar you wanna use. It doesn't matter, you should just be barbell squatting because it's the epitome of being healthy. It is the perfect image of the fit and in shape, strong body, and I think it's crap. Really quick guys, I put together another free video for you. I get a lot of emails about core training, right? What should I do, what should I do, especially when it comes to low back pain. And there's a lot of mistakes that people make just when it comes to looking at core training, how they look at core training, what they should be doing, is their core weak, is that why their back pain hurts? And there's a lot of myths around core training and back pain, and I wanna just completely wipe the slate clean and give you the best foundation possible when it comes to looking at core training for back pain relief. And you can use this if you don't have any pain. If you're just trying to get stronger, you wanna have a functionally strong core to be able to take and do whatever sport you want, this is for you. It's, a, it's an easy nine minute video, it's 100% free. It is all on core training. Check out fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash core training mistakes. I'll put a link in the description of the video here below. Um, you'll see the link pop up here as well. You can just copy and paste that or click the link and it'll take you to where you can pick that video up. I think the barbell squat is not something that you need to be doing. I think the, I know the barbell squat is something that is, is a very complex exercise from for the average person and it's probably one of the most uncoached exercises in a sense of general population who are trying to do this exercise or start out in their fitness endeavors and they see the barbell squat, they're told to do barbell squats and they just start doing them. Yeah, there's lots of great coaches online talking about how squatting is, or barbell squatting is awesome, you should do more barbell squatting, but they're not in your hometown, they're not in your gym showing you the proper way of doing it. Now, my experience as a personal trainer, um, when it comes to the barbell squat, is I know that it takes a lot of time to bring somebody from not barbell squatting to barbell squatting safely. Now, there's people who believe that barbell squatting isn't necessarily dangerous. It's not anything that's gonna cause any harm. Your form can be eh. You could have rounded backs. You could have you know knees going out in different directions and your body's just gonna adapt and it's gonna get stronger. And I'm not here to debate that. What I'm here to talk about and tell you is that you don't have to do the barbell squat anymore. If you want to step away from the barbell squat, there are so many different exercises out there that you can do that's gonna build a stronger lower body for you to apply to any aspect of your life. And honestly, there's probably more people out there who are not willing to admit it that barbell squatting hurts. It's painful. Um, it, it is a complex movement and honestly, they're probably navigating or have had to navigate more injuries than they're willing to admit simply from barbell squatting and trying to get into some kind of progressive load programming. Anyone who's loading weight, constantly trying to achieve bigger numbers, more weight, stronger legs are increasing their weight, which is ultimately gonna give you more opportunity to potentially injure yourself. So this kind of brings me to like, ask the question, why do you barbell squat? You know, if, if you're gonna argue that the barbell squat is king and that you know, squatting fixes everything. And again, I'm not talking about the body weight squat. I'm not saying that you should stop squatting. That's two different things. The barbell squat and squatting, the hip hinge, the, the, the fundamental of all movements. These, I'm trying to separate these two. My argument is against barbell squatting being king, right? So why do you squat? What is your reason for, for, for barbell squatting? Is it to build strength? Is it because your favorite fitness influencer on Instagram does a crap ton of weight and he has awesome legs and you want to follow him or her's advice when it comes to building a strong lower body and this person preaches barbell squatting? Because if that's true, 
then you might want to check yourself. You might want to check in, check in to see what the real reason behind what you're doing is and whether or not it should be something that you should be doing or if it's even something that you need to be doing, right? Yes, the barbell squat is an awesome exercise. It's a fun aesthetic type of exercise where it looks really cool when you have 345s on both sides and you're squatting you know, butt to ground or whatever your goals may be. That looks really cool, but how functional is it? You know, how often are you going to be squatting a you know 400 pound object off of your body? So then you kind of get into the argument of longevity. Okay, so you're squatting because you were told that it's just an awesome exercise and everybody should do it, or you're squatting because you go into the gym and you see all the big guys squatting, or you just open up any kind of men's health magazine and barbell squats are always on the docket for that day's workout. No matter what your reason may be, you have to think about what is your goal long term? You know, is it your goal to be in a hardcore gym and squat thousands of pounds and do it to the point where your nose is bleeding, you're crapping on yourself, you're peeing on yourself because the weight is just massively, massively heavy? Is that an ego thing for you and you just want to be the strongest, most powerful person in the world? If that is you, you would have gotten off this video a long time ago. But for the average person, Right, The average person who just wants to wake up, get stronger, have nice legs, have an athletic body, the barbell squat is unnecessary. You do not have to do the barbell squat and, get to, and, and put yourself in positions where you're challenging, trying to push limits, and you don't have a spotter, you do have a spotter, and next thing you know, you're just dealing with chronic low back pain, knee pain because of technique failure, or you're just an uncoached person when it comes to barbell squats but you don't have the money to invest in to bring someone in to, to show you how to do it right. Like these people here who just want to do it themselves, who just want to have a home gym and build strong legs, get stronger, look good. Like this is who I'm talking to. And I think we're lied to in a sense of barbell squatting being the king of all exercises because it's not. And you can develop strong, powerful legs without the barbell squat. I think the risk reward to barbell squats isn't worth it. When I think of exercising, I've got two kids, I've got a family, I wanna do this for the rest of my life. I'm in my 30s now, I wanna be doing this when I'm in my 60s, okay? So if I have in my mind that every time, every week, every month, every, every program, whatever you follow, you're gonna be pushing the limits. You're gonna be adding more weight. You're gonna be trying to do one or two more reps. No matter how good your training is, you're putting yourself at risk for injury. You're constantly pushing the body to break down, to rebuild and get stronger, which it's 100% capable of. But when it comes to longevity, when it comes to staying as injury and pain-free as possible, you can do that. But trying to max out on barbell squats and push the limit with hundreds and hundreds of pounds of weight on your back, on a bar, is not necessary. So I wanna challenge you with this video is just to rethink your position that you hold barbell squats too. You know, we kind of glorify it. It's an, it's an exercise that you don't necessarily need. If you want to be pain-free, if you want to, to put yourself in a position to be able to, to exercise and, and be as injury-free as possible, I say take barbell squats out and replace it with dumbbell versions of what you want to do, single leg versions of, of whatever you want to do with your lower body. It doesn't have to be barbell squats. The squat in general, very important. The lunge, the hinge, all those are excellent. But I'm tired of people talking about how the, the barbell squat is king and that everybody should be doing it and, this, and barbell squats are the cure for all illnesses because it's not. And I want you to, to trust and know you can go to the gym for the rest of your life and not barbell squat a single time. And I promise you, I promise you, if you put the work in, you do progressive loading, you do smart training, you will have big, strong, athletic legs without barbell squatting. I gave up barbell squatting three and a half years ago and I've never felt better ever in my life when it comes to training, pushing the limits, and getting stronger. So what are your thoughts? Are you a avid barbell squatter? Are you watching this and you're saying this kid is an idiot? I've been squatting and I feel great. Do you think that it is the king of all exercises? Do you think that everyone, anyone who is in the gym wanting to work out, build strength, get stronger, needs to be doing barbell squats? I say no. Leave a comment below. Let me know whether barbell squatting should be something that you must do 
or something that you could walk away from today, never do again, and still have strong and still build strong, powerful legs? Let me know below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, this is fitnessforbackpain.com. Check out the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notifications on there. And I will see you on another episode.